It's July 9th, 2013. I'm Paul Joseph Watson. This is InfoWars Nightly News. Tonight, police and firefighters ordered not to speak out about the Michael Hastings crash. Then, abortion activists hailing Satan as part of their message. Then, Chuck D of Public Enemy breaks down the state of America. All this and more on the InfoWars Nightly News. Top story tonight, police firefighters ordered not to speak about Michael Hastings' crash. A journalist with San Diego 6 News has fresh evidence that there could be a cover-up surrounding the suspicious car crash death of Rolling Stone journalist Michael Hastings. Let's go to this clip. Clearly, there are a couple things that stood out in, in my mind when I went up and visited the scene and visited law enforcement. What stood out in your mind? You said you couldn't get the police report. They weren't, they weren't giving that out. Yeah. So what, el what else stood out in your mind? Well, the fact that when you go to mm. the, the L.A. Police Department, then you go to the Fire Department, and you go to the different agencies, they all said they couldn't comment, and some of them said they were told not to comment on the story. That's Kimberly Dvorak, who says police and firefighters told her that they were ordered not to talk to the media about the car crash involving Hastings. She goes on to reveal that the military expert she spoke with also told her that the fire which consumed Hastings' Mercedes was an intensely hot inferno not normally seen in car accidents. And in fact, later on, she goes on to speak about how Mercedes have acknowledged that it's very unlikely that one of their modern vehicles mm would burst into flames, explode in such an inferno, and yet the LAPD, which said case closed, no foul play within days of the incident, has not contacted Mercedes. They're not interested in it, even though it was a raging inferno, the car basically exploded. Extremely unlikely for a modern vehicle to do that, according to Mercedes. But the LAPD doesn't want to talk to them. And Dvorak, in this clip, also uh, interviewed two physics professors who contradicted the notion that the engine, which was found 150 to 200 feet away from the vehicle, would have ended up behind the car, noting that its forward velocity would have ensured that it travelled in the same direction as the car under normal circumstances. So the fact that it's landed 150 feet behind the car in this high-speed crash is extremely unusual, according to these physics professors. And she goes on to suggest that the car could have been hacked and remote controlled as academic studies, which I cite in this article, have proven is fairly easily done. Of course, that premise was also raised recently by former counter-terrorism czar Richard Clark in an interview with the Huffington Post. So, as I said, the police ruled out foul play within days of the incident, yet refused to provide journalists with a copy of the police report and indeed are now telling both firefighters and police officers there in LA not to talk to the media about this case. Add to this, of course, the fact that Hastings' colleagues, and indeed Hastings himself in an email penned 15 hours before the crash, spoke of him being paranoid under investigation by the feds and working on, quote, the biggest story yet about the CIA. Of course, we had Joseph Biggs the army sergeant on the Alex Jones show a couple of weeks talking about that. He was a close friend of Hastings. He said the same thing. He was working on this major story right before the crash. So we're not in the realm of conspiracy theory. Hastings' friends, his wife, are all asking these same questions, even as the LAPD apparently tries to lock down access to information about this case, the death of Rolling Stone journalist Michael Hastings. We'll continue to track it as more and more suspicious pieces of evidence point towards foul play, even as the LAPD locks down the information. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show.